Friday morning on uh, Yahorina Mountain, uh, not too far from Sarajevo. I think you can see on the road behind me, I'm looking as, as well, um, the road is clear but the snow is uh, very much evident here, more snow coming and uh, although I don't have all the skiing equipment to go up on the slopes, let me assure you that everybody but everybody's out on the slopes here. Yaharina Mountain is first class uh, and I've just been looking at the infrastructure, the hotels uh, and talking to some of the people who uh, are involved here from the lady that is in the uh, office of the Olympic Ski Centre down to Graham who's a Brit, he lives here in Bosnia-Herzegovina and has his own company called Ski uh, Sarajevo and it's, it is an amazing experience and I've learned so so much. Uh, Bruce and I will be going back to uh, uh, going home up north uh, at the end of today we're going to drop into Sarajevo uh, and look around there in the old city center of Sarajevo but uh, I'm really stoked I'm really happy because uh, we're going to come back yes um, and maybe just maybe I'll put some skis on I'm not gonna promise but I've I know now that uh, we're going to try and get some GoPro footage and the wind here at the moment is 40 kilometers an hour. You must probably hear it racing across the microphone. So yeah, let's crack on with the rest of the day. I was doing some research before I came here about skiing around the world and of course there's wonderful slopes in Val d'Isère, there's, there's, you know, you, you can name a whole row of very famous um, places to ski. Sarajevo seems to be right at the bottom of that list. It's, it's, it's as if nobody really knows uh, a, a, about what happens here in Bosnia-Herzegovina. How do you find the attitudes to people that come here, that finally arrive, whether they're French or German or British? You know, when they arrive here, however they've arrived here, what, what's their attitude? Uh, first of all, I would like to mention that they are all very welcome on our mountain uh, and uh, what's their attitude? They are very surprised uh, when they come here. First of all, they say it's not well-known mountain and region. You should promote yourself uh, much more abroad. It will help you to bring more and more tourists here because you have a lot of things uh, to show here, to offer here. This is great mountain, great nature, great people, hospitality, food, everything. They are really surprised. So it doesn't matter where they come from. Uh, they will always enjoy our mountain and all facilities of hotels here. There seems to be um, something for everybody here. I mean, okay, we're sat in the Hotel Neboisha at the moment. It's in, in the atrium at the front of the hotel, but just behind is the tiniest of ski lifts. And I noticed yesterday looking out of my hotel room that all these little children learning. So you've got things for every age and every, how would you say, every competency, every level of, of ski experience. Definitely, we, we have it. Uh, as you mentioned before, uh, there were Olympic Games here in Yahorina in 1984, and uh, Yahorina was the center of uh, competition uh, for alpine skiing for women. So all our slo slopes uh, are available for everybody, and uh, all uh, skiers can choose whether they want to ski blue slope or black or red, and they can always find easier uh, way to come down uh, the slope. So it's not a problem. Also for ski beginners we offer many slopes uh, and it's the perfect place uh, to lear learn how to ski here in Yahorina. I was catching up with Graham who has a small company here called uh, Ski Sarajevo uh, and one of the things that he felt that, would, that up until recently was painful for him was the lack of direct flights for many people especially from northern Europe from Germany to come to Sarajevo and now there's this Wizz Air that comes into Tusla and almost overnight more people seem to be coming. How do you think people can improve or how could the country improve the, the connection as it were for people to come whether they're coming from the Middle East or, or wherever? 
Uh, our country is divided, uh, uh, separated in uh, Republika Srpska and Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, I would like to say that it's, it would be the best to promote us uh, like one state. Uh, it will be much better if our ministries uh, would, co uh, would cooperate uh, more and more in the future, because we cannot promote Jahorina without Sarajevo. Uh, we cannot promote some parts of the country without other parts. We are whole, and it would be the best uh, thing if we would cooperate on each level, from lo local community till ministries and stately. Um, so for us, it's very important uh, connection uh, inside the country. So, and then uh, when our ministries are cooperating and they push a lot of energy to bring uh, some flights from other countries, uh, because all direct flights bring us more tourists. So infrastructure uh, and all these uh, things are very important for our mountain for tourism development here. But the infrastructure that I see at the moment, I'm looking out the window, there's some really nice, they, they, they look like quite massive apartments on the hill there. Just behind there's these wonderful wooden chalets and you know we're sat in this rather cool hotel at the moment. But you do have enough in the way of infrastructure accommodation for, for your current guest, yes? Uh, we have great hotels here in Yahorina and I can say that uh each hotel has great facility and uh, most of guests are very happy here. We should put uh, more energy and uh, try to invest more on roads and uh, uh, connections between cities uh, in order to provide better service for guests who are coming to Sarajevo Airport, an example, because at the moment that's the lack of our offer. Uh, we should uh, try to organize better shuttle buses, uh, transfer availability for all guests who are coming to the airport, that they can can easily come to Yahorina. They have only opportunity to come with taxi at the moment and it should be better like that. Somebody told me a little snippet of information that I didn't know while I was having my, my cheese pie. Sirnitsa, right? Cheese pie. Sirnitsa. See, I will get the pronunciation right one day. Sirnitsa. So I was having my Sirnitsa and somebody said, did you know that in 2018 there's going to be another mini Olympics here? Could you tell me a little bit about that, please? Uh, yes, that's one project between East Sarajevo and uh, Sarajevo. Uh, we, are, we are trying uh, to get these games here in Jahorina Bjelašnica and that should connect all Olympic mountains around Sarajevo and city, cities, of course. Uh, so that's Youth Festival, uh, youth festival uh, for uh, Euro European Youth Festival. So we hope we will get it and we will... Um, improve our uh, mountain offer and city offer and it will bring us more tourists in the future as well. What do you think the age groups will be? I've, I've never ever seen a, a youth ski. I know that my grandson, he's six and at the moment he's in America and I saw him on a, on a family video, this tiny little boy um, on, on two skis going down a mountain. But what do you think will be the, the age groups for, for this youth festival? It should be juniors, uh, as I understood, uh, so younger than 18 years old. So what you're actually saying is the new generation of world skiers could actually come here to Sarajevo. So in tennis terms, there could be a little Novak Djokovic on skis in about 20 years. It could be like that because if they come here and if, if they can compete in Yahorina, it means they can be as well successful like some ex-skiers in ex-Yugoslavia. I know you've got to rush because we've taken you away from your daily schedule. Um, Everybody in, in life has got a dream. Uh, whatever job they're doing, they, you know, they have this vision about what they would like to achieve. As far as the ski centre, the Olympic ski centre here in Sarajevo, and you being responsible for the marketing and the PR and everything, if somebody could give you one wish now, what would it be? To make this mountain uh, completely uh, famous in the world. And that's a simple but a very difficult job. How can people find out more about your ski centre? So we all need uh, to be uh, connected and we all need to give us our energy um, to improve uh, the service and facility. And not only people from mountain and our state should support us more. Do you have a website? We have, of course, www.oc-yahorina.com. Thank you so much for giving me your time this morning. Thank you.